there, boys, girls, ladies, and gents. Echo here, and we are back with another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. And this one, we are going to be making the sequel to our almost perfect game, Rim Sky. Um, Rim Sky was it got out of the four ratings, three were ten, one got a nine. Uh, out of the four different ratings, it got so pretty much nine point seven five because it was damn near 10. So the engine, eh, gameplay, eh, story and quest, max. Maxed. Because it's an RPG. You need stories and quests. Hype 2, Hype 3, Hype 4. The hype is gonna get this thing sold. Okay, dialogues, drop it down a little bit. Artificial intelligence, raise that. And then we'll kinda, kinda balance it out a small bit. And then, high five, six. Market is normalized again with no particularly strong trends at the moment. Okay. So now, world design, high. Sounds, lower. Much lower. Graphics, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll just minimize the sound almost completely. Ooh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Okay, now we gotta make sure all the bugs get worked out. And we're actually gonna let it run a little bit longer so we get like the design and the technology. Because I'm pretty sure that's actually how you make it better. And then the hype should... Oh no, the hype is dying down. Release the game! And let's see how it does. First reviews for Rim Sky 2 came in. Not as good, but still good. Oh, really, dude? You gave it a 6? I think I gave it an 8. Oh, you gave it a 6, too? 7. Okay. I was about to say, if he gives it a 6, I was about to tell him he can eat a bag of dicks. But... Okay, Black... The newest game in a series titled Rim Sky 2 was met with great responses. So now, uh, we have the fans of a sequel. Now, if we continue this series, then not only will we get more fans in general, but the fans of that specific series. Now there is a point that I got to whenever I was kind of testing it out that uh, one like the market development team or whatever is like, hey, there's this there's this group of people that made a game, and it's a fan made game of your game with like a different storyline, but the exact same characters and everything, and the plot's the same and all that, whatever. Uh, but then they go. They aren't making any money from it at all. But do you think we should have them take it down because it is our game? And I was like, why the fuck would I do that? Like, they're not making any money off of it. Like, if they were making money off it, it'd be a different story. It was like, hey, that's my game. If you're gonna make any money off of it, you're gonna give me a very large percentage because it was my game in the first place. You know? But they weren't making any money off it, so I was like, no, let them be. It's a fan made it. So we're just gonna bend our copyright or send them warnings asking them to stop. Illegal copies of Rim Sky 2. Sue them. Sue them. Right away, yeah. Big convention will take place in four weeks' time. Uh, we don't exactly have the money this time for a medium booth. So we're going to do small. We're going to do small booth. A teeny weeny, little tiny, small booth. Small booth. Okay, so find contract work because we're going to do a little bit of that in the meantime. Uh, we're going to find something that's easy. Like that. That one's actually easy. And not only will this give me like research points and a little bit of money it'll also help like level up design and technology for the uh, ones that 
in what some have called a drastic move. Drastic? Taking legal action against illegal players of their game. Rimsky. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach than invest and invest in better games instead. Lost all those fans. Okay, but still. Why would we have lost fans when they're doing something illegal in the first place? I don't understand how that would make it to where we lost fans. It'd be illegal. Like, if I downloaded Skyrim for free, which would not be possible because you'd have to buy it, it would obviously be illegal, and Bethesda would not only have the right to sue me, but no one would argue, because I would be getting their game for free, not buying it, not paying them money, and even though they have enough money already, like they're a game company, and, you know, not spending $20 on their game would not harm them much, it is still not the right thing to do. So... We didn't make it to the top 100 boosts this year, and we don't have any more fans because I decided to do the right thing. But lesson learned, kids, don't do the right thing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, all jokes, all jokesy jokes, jokers. Um, so I'm thinking, Vena Gear is no longer supported. PC till the end. Um, so now, probably gonna do a few more contract works. So, let's go with this one. This one's gonna be easy. And, I don't know why. Because, like, I just assumed that doing the right thing would pay off. Apparently not, because $20,000 is what I gained out of it. That's not anything. That's nothing compared to what I use every in-game month. Every in-game month I use like 80,000. And an in-game month is quick. So I lost fans, which, like I said, if I stole Skyrim, or if I stole a, a Call of Duty game, I would, you know, obviously be upset that I got caught if I were to be doing that in the first place. But then I'd have to take a serious look at it and be like, well, what I was doing is illegal. Can I really blame them? So it's like, what the fuck did I lose fans over that for? Okay, we're gonna do another fine contract. We're gonna do a couple of these. Ooh. Ooh, we, ooh. We're gonna do this one. Even though it's a shorter amount of time. And so we're going to do, probably in the next one, uh, I'm going to give it a rest because I've been recording these kind of like back to back. Uh, but in, by the time I start recording another set of these, uh, I will, oh no, okay, whatever. But um, uh, I'll be like reading through the comments of these. So, if, you, if there's a specific game type that you would like me to make, uh, or like a specific game that you would like me to actually copy, like maybe there would be a Fallout that you would like to see, or maybe uh, if they actually have like FPS as a genre, I'll do like a Call of Duty. Um, but you know, just kind of suggest something that you'd like to see. and. Uh, I'll make it to a game, and I'll make it as fast as I can. Um, but other than that, uh, not much left to say, so I will have to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Game Dev Tycoon, and we will see you guys next time. Later!